Good day, learners. In this video, we're going to talk about pointers related to the herbal remedy St. John's Wort, which is an herbal antidepressant. Once again, this is your mentor, Ray, showing you the way on how to pass the NCLEX RN the easy way. So before we begin, if you want to receive a PDF file of the essential aspects of this presentation, send us an email at this address, mentor.raygapus at gmail.com. Okay, St. John's Wort is also known as Hypericum. Now, check it out. Look at the picture. So, a nice yellow flower. So, your St. John's Wort is used to treat mild to moderate depression and, of course, the symptoms of depression, including nervousness, tiredness, poor appetite, and insomnia. Now, take note that your hypericum may reduce the efficacy of cyclosporine. That's actually a medication given to prevent organ rejection, specifically those who are undergoing um, kidney transplant surgery. Then you have your antiviral agent in Dinavir. Then you have your anticoagulant warfarin, cardiac glycoside digoxin, your bronchodilator theophylline, some anticonvulsants like phenytoin or carbamazepine, okay, and then your uh, HIV drugs like Sakinavir, okay? So your St. John's wort may reduce the efficacy of these drugs. Let's have a functional concept. St. John's wort may cause serotonin toxicity when combined with antidepressants. Now, serotonin toxicity occurs when a patient is actually taking an antidepressant drug also opts to take St. John's wort that would not be beneficial for the patient. So when serotonin accumulates, that's one of the neurotransmitters, okay, in the central nervous system, serotonin toxicity or serotonin syndrome results, okay? Now, so your serotonin toxicity is manifested by the initial manifestation since the central nervous system is affected, take note, confusion. So the code should be confused, but a patient who is glad. Glad means patient will exhibit goosebumps, loss of muscle coordination, abnormal vital signs. The BP could go up, the heart rate could go up, the temperature could go up and fluctuate, and then there's going to be anxiety with restlessness or agitation. And of course, diarrhea and dilated pupils may occur. So let's use what we just have learned to answer a sample question. So which of the following statements of a patient taking St. John's wort indicates correct understanding of the precautions necessary when taking the herb as a supplement? Now, the key phrase here is correct understanding. So we are supposed to look for a true statement. Okay, so we have to eliminate any statement that's false. So let's begin. Option one, to hasten my recovery, I can take this with my antidepressants. What did we say a while back? You don't combine drugs, specifically antidepressants, with St. John's wort. If you want to take, if you want to shift rather from antidepressant drug to your St. John's wort, there has to be a washout period or interval of at least two weeks. Okay, so option one is incorrect. Option two, it will not affect my asthma medication, theophylline. We just said a while back that it, your St. John's wort may diminish the effects of several drugs, including your theophylline. Option three, I can take it several weeks after I stop taking my antidepressants. So are we saying here that the patient has had a washout period? Possibly. And then let's read through option four. This herbal remedy does not interfere with blood thinners like warfarin. This is a false statement because St. John's wort may actually potentially increase bleeding because it interferes or it prolongs the action of your warfarin or your anticoagulant. So the best answer is actually in option three. I can take it several weeks after I stop taking my antidepressants. Okay. It's shout out time once again. Congratulations to Anisha Gimire from Nepal, who is now a USRN and she passed the NCLEX for the State Board of New Mexico. Congratulations again from GAPUS Mentor. So let's learn together. For more instructional videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, GAPUS Mentors, and my Facebook page, Mentoring. <laughs>